Over the past few weeks, there has been comments made by Rassi Erasmus and the potential loss of captaincy of the Springboks for Sia Khaleesi. Everyone has given their two cents, but Sia Khaleesi has now finally responded to those comments. In this video, we're going to be breaking down everything that's happened and talk a little bit about who could potentially take over from Sia Khaleesi this year. So for some context, let's rewind all the way back to 2018. Now in 2018, Rassi Erasmus appointed Sia Khaleesi as the captain of the Springboks, making history Sia Khaleesi being the first black captain in South Africa, which has been absolutely revolutionary for the game of rugby within South Africa. He then would go on to win the 2019 and 2023 World Cup. A very, very successful move from Rassi Erasmus to appoint Sia Khaleesi as captain. However, after the 2023 World Cup final, Sia Khaleesi announced that he would be signing and moving to France to play for Racing 92. Now, I personally have absolutely no problem with that. Sia Khaleesi has done his time in South Africa. He's won two World Cups and now he gets to go get his flowers. He gets to go get that massive paycheck over at Racing 92, all of these sponsors. So I do think for Sia Khaleesi and his family and where he is in his career, that was probably the right move for him. The problem is, is that Rassi Erasmus has now come out and said that he might be potentially looking at changing the captain of the Springboks because he prefers his captain to be locally based. Now, when this came out, it was quite shocking because Sia is 32 at the moment. He can potentially still captain South Africa in the 2027 World Cup. So that is a massive statement coming out from Rassi Erasmus, especially because Sia Khaleesi has been so successful as uh, the Springbok captain, again, winning two World Cups. And everyone's been giving their two cents on the matter. Should Sia Khaleesi stay? Shouldn't. If he leaves, who then should step in as captain for the Springboks? Well, Sia Khaleesi has finally responded in a press conference that was hosted for Racing 92 uh, in the lead up to their game this week. This is what Sia Khaleesi said. That's normal. I knew that before making the decision to come here. He, he's referring to Rassi Erasmus, speaks and he says, this is the situation. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. So before Sia added his comments into this situation, we didn't know the full context, but it does appear apparent that Sia Khaleesi knew that him moving to France and Racing 92 would inevitably lead to him losing the captaincy of the Springboks. I do think Rassi Rasmus and Sia Khaleesi have quite a transparent relationship, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if Rassi said before he signed that contract, you move into France and Racing 92 will definitely... Uh, put a little bit of a spanner in the works in terms of your captaincy. Now, whether they should change the captaincy uh, from Sia Khaleesi to someone else bold into the 2027 World Cup, only Rassi Erasmus will know. But I do know one thing. This happened to John Smith after the 2007 World Cup. A very, very similar uh, situation. John Smith ended up winning the 2007 World Cup with the Springboks as captain. The next year, he then moved over to France to play there. And then that whole discussion as well was, should John Smith be leading the Springboks if he's not playing on South African soil? Well, Peter de Villiers ended up sticking with John Smith. John Smith ended up captaining the 2011 World Cup. So maybe we'll see history repeat itself. I'm not too sure. Rassi obviously has all his plans. He's very calculated. He obviously knows what is best for South Africa and South African rugby. And I think it all depends to where Rassi Rasmus is building to. Is he looking to build to the 2027 World Cup or is he looking further than that to the 2031 World Cup? There's obviously a lot to think about for Rassi Erasmus. And now with these comments and sort of the acceptance from Sia Khaleesi, we need to start looking at who could potentially take over from Sia Khaleesi in that captain's role. I'm going to give you a few options, short term, short term, medium term, and long term. As always, make sure you let me know in the comments who you think should be leading the Springboks in 2024 and beyond. So for the short term, probably only 2024, I think this player is eligible. Bongi Mbonambe, who has captained the Springboks before. We saw him captain them in the Rugby World Cup 2023 against Romania. The problem is, is that he is 33. So I don't think he's going to be in the plans for the 2027 World Cup. So I don't think Bongi Mbonambe will become uh, captain of the Springboks. I do think Rassi Erasmus is looking for the long play who can captain the Springboks for another two or three World Cups. Then into the medium term, this is probably a two to four year plan. Maybe they can captain in the 2027 World Cup. 
These are players like Irvin Etzebeth, who has already captained um, the Springboks on 13 different occasions. Again, he's 32, so by the time the 2027 World Cup comes around, he'll be 36. And whether he's still going to be on top of his game, it, we'll have to wait and see. Then another person that could potentially take over in the medium term is Lukanya Um. Now, he hasn't captained South Africa, but he does have a lead role within the squad. He also did captain the South African A side versus the British and Irish Lions on that tour. So they definitely see him as a leader and he could potentially be the man to take us into the 2027 World Cup. And if Rusty decides that the players being overseas doesn't bother him too much, then he probably will just stay with Khaleesi. But he also has a couple of other options. Uh, Paul who's also overseas a lot of people I've been seeing have been saying Peter Steph the toy but it brings in that that uh, problem of him being overseas in Japan and making it a little bit difficult Rassi Rasmus wants them close so that they can have many conversations frequently and then obviously Steven Kitsov who is now playing for Ulster but it has come out this week that potentially he'll move back to the Stormers next year so Steven Kitsov could also be a very good sort of medium term option and then we move into the long term these are going to be the younger players within the squad and on the fringes who could probably captain for five to ten years it's what Sia Khaleesi did back in 2018 or what Rassi Erasmus did with Sia Khaleesi back in 2018 my first option is Ulrich Lowe who's been having a good season for the Bulls he has represented the Springboks before but I just don't know where he is on the pecking order within uh, the Springbok camp at the moment he's a very good loose forward can play flank or eighth man so he could be a good option staying in the Bulls Ruan Nokia who's also having a very very good season for the Bulls uh, at lock again I just don't know where he is on the pecking order I think there are a couple of better locks that could represent South Africa but if you're looking for a leader then Ruan Nokia is that man another person who's been playing lock very very well uh, for this season a little bit of this season is Salman Murat who has been sort of looked at as a leader in the Stormers camp and has sort of been pegged to be the captain of the Springboks I'm not sure they're going to go with him because I don't think he's on the level to play for the Springboks at the moment but if he puts a couple of seasons together then maybe so those three players could captain but I don't think they will I think three better options for the long term is one Ivan Rus who has been absolutely tearing it up at the Stormers he has a couple of caps for the Springboks and if he can just keep his temper under control he could be a very good option for sort of a five to ten year plan if Rassi Rasmus is really looking for a long-term plan and a, a real big shot in the dark, he can appoint, which would be the youngest captain to ever captain the Springboks, Sasha Mgumazulu, who captained the under-20 Springboks. So that could be an option, but Sasha Mgumazulu is very, very young. He hasn't played for the Springboks yet, so that is a massive punt, but could be sort of a 10-year option. And then one option that I've presented before, which a lot of people seem to disagree with me on, is Damien Willemse. I mean, you look at a player like Damien Willemse, he's played in two rugby world cups he's won two rugby world cups and he's only 25 years of age he has all the experience he's probably one of the best rugby players on the planet at the moment and for me it probably makes a little bit of sense for Damien Willemse to take over the captaincy from now now obviously I know the Springboks don't like having a captain outside of the scrum the only exception was Jean de Villiers who played center but Damien Willemse at fullback could be a little bit far from the action so there's a lot of interesting players that could take over from Sir Khaleesi. It's going to be very interesting to see what Rassi Erasmus does in sort of the next 6 to 12 months. Is he going to go for the short-term, medium-term or long-term captain? And which World Cup is he building up to? Is it just the 2027 World Cup or is he looking at the 2031 World Cup? As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. Leave this video a like and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.